as John said, my name is Michael Shoddy. I'm from Chatham originally. I now live in Toronto, but I was delighted to be asked to come back to Chatham to uh, perform for you today. I'm going to mostly perform. Um, I'd also like to do a, a small amount of speaking um, about uh, the subject, uh, one subject that's quite dear to me, songwriting. And of course, I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of my own songwriting. So, um, but let's get to some music. The, uh, the first song I'm going to play for you is the title track of my latest album. It's called Turn Back the Vikings. Now, this song um, came about as I was thinking, uh, I was thinking about the, the nature of the music business and the tumult that has ensued since the late 90s when uh, we all remember when Napster came out. Uh, and this started uh, the on, uh, online downloading trend. And uh, the song Turn Back the Vikings, um, even though I'm a, I'm a history major, it's not a historical tune. The Vikings, the, the pillaging Vikings of this song are actually a metaphor, um, a metaphor for, for any of us uh, who've gone online and consumed art, uh, but perhaps not paid for it. The key line to listen for is in the third verse uh, when I talk about, um, uh, I say to somebody, you drink well water from the tap, and then you piss into the well out back. Listen. 
Thank you. How many people here know what, um, or could answer the question, what is the most common subject matter in all of popular music? Should be fairly obvious. You can shout it out if you know. Love. Love. Thank you. Now, why would that be the most common subject matter, I wonder? Probably because it's, uh, in most people's lives, uh, one of the, if not the most important things. Uh, you fall in love, you get married perhaps a divorce or two. It's, the, uh, it's really the central theme of, of, uh, of human existence. And uh, it's fitting then that a lot of songwriters tackle this subject matter. The problem is um, it's ground that has been uh, plowed so many times that it becomes increasingly difficult if you're not aware of this problem uh, in increasingly difficult to write something about love that is fresh and uh, approaches the subject matter from, from a new angle. It's hard to do. Um, I'm not saying I've accomplished that, but with this next song, that was my intention. The song's called If I Find Love and Leave It Be. And um, the song is, is, is about a character who, we've all heard the expression, um, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. This character in the song I wrote thinks the opposite. Better never to have loved than to love and, uh, and risk losing it all. And for the first couple of verses you'll hear uh, the character is essentially trying to justify his own romantic cowardice. He walks into a forest, he sees this, this woman from afar and he falls in love with her on the spot. And what's more, he thinks that she has also fallen in love with him from a distance. Nothing remotely creepy about that. <laughs> By the time we get to the chorus, he's talking about, uh, the lyric goes, um, call me crazy, a coward maybe, I'm sure I caught her kiss upon the wind. Um, and is it a sin if I find love and leave it be? Well. This, this character, uh, you might think that the song is going to end badly. Uh, however, uh, unlike many of my songs, it has a happy ending because um, it turns out the woman uh, who is his target actually really did fall in love with him as well. And she's the bold one. She comes to him. And uh, so in other words, he, he's gotten very lucky, um, literally and perhaps figuratively. Um, <laughs> This is, uh, um, this is one of my favorites of, of the songs I've written for my new album. Um, it is available here, by the way, out in the lobby. Uh, this one it has a Celtic flavor. It's called If I Find Love and Leave It Be. Saw my love inside the forest And every bird had sang a song for her And I threw my watch onto the soil Who needs a clock when here's a love transcending time? I think it fair to say I knew her I heard the poem, the one she wrote A word when in her eyes was all in quiet. Call me crazy, a coward. Maybe I'm sure I caught a kiss upon the wind. And is it a sin if I find love and leave it be? Well, what a silly little problem. I hear you say I'm just a dream. Resolve to keep it safe inside my mind Call me crazy, a coward Maybe I'm sure I caught a kiss upon the wind Oh, and is it a sin If I find love and leave it be Cause it's fleeting, I'm not just love. Oh, well, my 
out into the forest And every bird had sang a song for her And I felt a tap upon my shoulder She says hello and by chance have you Rootsy Blues uh, uh, infusions, shall we say. And uh, once again, it's about that most famous and, and most uh, popular subject matter for music. It's about a woman. And uh, I have no real um, claim for originality on this one, but it's just a song I liked. It's called Honey Doll. <laughs>
Thanks very much, everyone.